Welcome to a second example of solving two-step equations with fractions. In this example, we're going to be solving the equation by first clearing the fractions from the equation. We'll be solving the same equation in another video where we just leave the fractions in the equation and solve it like any other two-step equation. But because we want to clear the fractions from the equation, let's review the steps that we'll take. The first step is actually optional, but we're going to build fractions that have the same least common denominator. And then step two, we'll multiply each fraction by the common denominator to clear the fractions from the equation. Then we'll solve the resulting equation that will not contain fractions by adding or subtracting to isolate the variable term. Then multiply or divide to solve for the variable. As a last step, we'll check our solution. So going back to our example, we first want to determine the least common denominator when we have the denominators of three, four, and twelve. Well, the least common denominator will be the least common multiple of three, four, and twelve, which should be the smallest number divisible by three, four, and twelve. Looking at the multiples below, we can see the LCD would be twelve. But if we have a hard time determining the least common denominator, we can build it using the prime factorization of the denominators. So for example, for two-thirds x, since three is prime, I'm going to write this as two x over three, minus the prime factorization of four would be two times two, and the prime factorization of six would be two times three. So another way to build the LCD would be to make sure the denominators contain the same prime factors. So looking at this first fraction, notice how it only has one factor of three, but since this fraction has two factors of two, this fraction needs two factors of two. So we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by two factors of two. Notice how this product is equal to twelve, giving us our LCD. And then for the second fraction, notice how it doesn't have any factors of three, but it needs one because the other fractions have one. So we're going to multiply this fraction by three over three. And then the last fraction here needs one more factor of two, so we'll multiply by two over two. Notice now all the denominators are twelve. Let's go ahead and rewrite this as eight x over twelve. minus three twelfths equals, this would be ten twelfths. Remember our goal here is to clear the fractions from the equation. So now we're going to multiply each fraction by twelve or twelve over one. And this will clear the fractions from the equation. So we're going to multiply this by twelve over one, multiply this by twelve over one, and multiply this by twelve over one. Notice in this case, in each product we have twelve over twelve, that simplifies to one. So the resulting equation would be eight x minus three equals ten. Now this is quite a bit of work, so I do want to point out that if we did recognize that twelve was the LCD of the fractions, we could multiply each fraction in the original equation by twelve and get the same equation that we have here. And let's go ahead and show this. So we'll write two x over three minus one-fourth equals five-sixths. We're going to multiply each fraction by twelve in this form, and we'll see the equation will be the same as we have here. So times twelve over one, times twelve over one, and times twelve over one. Before we multiply, we have to simplify each of these. Three and twelve share a common factor of three. There's one three and three, and four threes and twelve. Four and twelve share a common factor of four. Simplifies to one, this simplifies to three. And six and twelve simplify. There's one six and six, and two sixes and twelve. Notice the result here would be eight x over one, or just eight x, minus three over one, or three, equals ten over one, or ten. Notice the resulting equation is the same. This equation is the same as this equation. So if you can identify the LCD quickly, this is a nice way to go. If you struggle identifying the LCD, you can build it and then multiply each term by the LCD. Let's go ahead and solve the resulting equation here. So for the next step, we'll undo the subtraction by adding three to both sides. Let's 
zero. So now we have eight x equals thirteen. Last step, divide both sides by eight. So we have our solution. Our solution is x equals thirteen eighths. This is an improper fraction, even though it is simplified. Let's go ahead and also express this as a mixed number. To do this, we'll perform this division. Remember, a fraction bar means division. So thirteen divided by eight. There's one eight in thirteen. One times eight is eight, and we subtract. Thirteen minus eight is five, which means thirteen eighths is equal to one, and the remainder over the divisor, or one and five eighths. We did check this solution in the other example, so we're not going to check it here. This solution is correct. So I would encourage you to take a look at the other example where we solve this by leaving the fractions in the equation just to see the result is the same. I hope you found this helpful.